Now, I, I just got this new RV, and I'm driving all over town, and I noticed the tire is getting, like, kind of eaten up, and, and I, I called the guy I bought it from. I wasn't trying to get him to do nothing, but, uh, I just wanted to tell him what was going on with the tire. He, he tells me I need an oligament or, or something. I, I'm not sure what it was. I, I don't know how to do this, but, uh, I, I can fix the tire rod. That might have fixed the tire. I, I don't know. All I know is all these trolls keep coming after me saying Rich Life's got roaches in the RV. It's it's not not a roach, it's it's a water bug. I looked it up online. It's a water bug. At Brad Sliver Dog Sil Brad Silver Dog. He's been uh making videos about me having roaches and saying it's either a roach or one of them them water bugs that, that bite. All I know is I spilt a bunch of sun drop over here in the back where I was storing all my, my, my 50 cases. I'm down to about, about 37 cases right now. I need to replace my supply, get all, uh, revigorated and all and to get my supply back up to where it needs to be. But these water bugs are climbing all over the, Sun drop that spilled when I had an open container in the back and I, I took a corner and I almost ran up the media right there, that big old cement thing in the middle of the road. I almost rolled the RV. I, and then I would have got my other tire all eaten out. That's bad. And then you got that, uh, Colleen over there in Hawaii. She's over there calling me Richie Rich and making fun of me. And everybody's making fun of me. I'm tired of all you trolls. I'm getting sick and plumb tired of all you making fun of me. I know about bugs because I made a video about them moths. The moths, how they lay the eggs and then the eggs turn to mealworms and then the mealworms sometimes if there's too much of a, like a population and uh they all conformerated and then uh they decide to turn into moths i learned that going to school in north carolina and i know they turn into moths and stuff and then when they get tired of being a moth, they turn back into mealworms. I killed a moth once. He looked like a mealworm. And then the moths will turn back into the beetles, or they turn into uh, the roll. I, I don't know what they do. I don't. I just don't like these bugs. You got that that dumb old woman, that Lucy Bell over there. She's always making fun of me too. All these people are jealous because they live in a home and they can't take their home with them driving around. I have this RV. Why y'all got to be so critical of rich life? I said it was around a 2000 or something, maybe later. I didn't know for sure. Now people are saying it's like the mid-90s. It's just, it's, why don't y'all just leave me alone? I'm tired of all you trolls coming on here and messing with me. And then some of you guys pretend to be other people and, uh, like that, uh, Cherokee butterfly. She got all, I don't know, she's, she acted like she wanted to be my girlfriend and stuff, but then, uh, she, I, I don't know. Everybody's jealous of me living the life, drinking the sun drop, eating the chicken in a can. I'm getting worried up, folks. My word net is gone to a whole new level, and it's not good. I'm going to crash this rig one of these days, and it's going to be on the fault of the trolls.
All their last one of you Colleen over there in Hawaii and Brad Silver Dogs and that one really gets on my nerves the most is that dumb old Lucy Bell. I think she's really flirting with me, but she won't give me the time of day anyhow, no way. And then my last girl I was with, she went up on a panel trying to be all friendly, and then about all these trolls, they keep setting me up to get attacked. They invite me up on their panel all nice and friendly. They want to just hang out with rich life and, and talk about the lifestyle, the engine casinos and moths and my poetry and all, all kinds of stuff like that. But they just, they just get me all worried up something fierce. And yeah, I, I used to do, do the, the poems a while back. People started laughing about that. I had a lot of sayings, very, very good sayings. I remember one of my sayings was, was if you burn the bridge with the rich life, people can drown. And then the other one that some people thought was, was pretty good, it's kind of a little too religious for, for some folks, but you know, when, when God parted the waters, rich life was in the boat fighting for Moby Dick that night. So, uh, people always ask me, uh, what I'm gonna do, and I, I just get worried up when y'all wanna, um, topiary of what I'm doing, I, I, I just get all worried up that, that, you know, on a schedule of my events and stuff, I, I don't know what I'm doing. I don't answer to nobody anyhow, I do whatever Rich Life wants to do. You know, I'm turning this thing off because you all get me all worried up. I, I, I can't take any more of this. I thought it was going to be a nice evening. People in my side chat give me some tips and some super chats so I can have some fun money to go to the NG Casino. And y'all just jealous. When I stay in the fancy hotels, get rooms paid for by these engine casinos, and and then you guys are all jealous of this fine, fancy food I'm eating over here, whether it's chicken in a can, or I'm getting a complimented buffet over here, and you know... They give me compliments about who I am. I'm a good guy. But that, that's it. I'm turning this off. You trolls got me all worried up for last time. I, I warn you. Hey, you trolls, you just can't take it. You just can't relax.